Hey guys, welcome back to Hypertora. I have my uh, Sci-Fan block here, which is the uh, replacement for the Sci-Fi block. Uh, this is our first one of these uh, since they changed uh, from Sci-Fi to Sci-Fan. Um, basically, as far as I'm aware, it says from the tagline, the ultimate Sci-Fi and uh, fantasy block. So I think it's going to have a few more fantasy things in here rather than just Sci-Fi um, or the science fiction. This did arrive a few days ago, um, but obviously my car's out of action at the moment, so I can't normally pick these up from the post office when they're uh, delivered when I'm not around, so I have to wait for them to re-deliver them. Uh, but I have it now, so let's see what's inside. And uh, as usual, we do have the kind of nice shrink wrap around this. And they do shrink wrap it after they put all the labels on as well, so your shipping label doesn't uh, get all damaged in rain and whatever. So, yeah, I always have to remember these are slightly um, different boxes to what they used to be. They used to open from the bottom, they always open from the top now. Uh, but so, yeah, we have a very nice logo on the front for the new uh, Sci-Fan box, which looks pretty funky. But let's look inside. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. There was a lot of weight to this. Um, I think that looks like a book, although it looked like something else to start off with. Uh, but that's a pretty nice start. That looks like a pretty good box um, there. So I'm um, going to start with this. Uh, here we have a Slimer um, figurine. Uh, lime, Slimer Lime Gelatin Treat. Uh, I get it. So Slimer bit in the, in the shape of a uh, gelatin treat, which is quite nice. Uh, that looks interesting. For a second though, I was trying to consider, is that meant to be something I can eat? But no, it's just in the shape of a treat, which is pretty cool. I'm going to leave that in, in the box like I do with most of my figures. Uh, it leaves them with a little bit more value. Um, what else do we have? We have a belt of some kind. That logo, I can't, don't quite recognise the, the uh, symbol on this. Where is it? Buckle down product. Does it give me a... Yeah, so it's a kind of nice little thing there. It's a kind of webbing belt. Oh, that's massive. That should definitely fit a majority of people. Um, there, and it's... I can't even work out how to undo this uh, thing. And apparently you need to uh, have a few... Uh, uh, there we go. So a nice kind of normal webbing belt there with that kind of symbol on the front. Uh, if you know what that is, do comment down below, let me uh, let me know. I It looks familiar, I just can't recognize what it's from. We have a book for Hellboy, the companion, there. Um, I, I rarely read the books that they put in some of these boxes and it's a bit of a shame that they've had to fold this book to fit it in the box. I'm sure they could have found another way of putting this in there. Um, this bend is really one of those kind of things that would annoy me. Um, it's going to take a while to flatten out, but no, it's a nice book. It uh, looks like it's going to have a fair bit of value, $14.95 at retail. Um, nonetheless, a good item. Just wish it wasn't bent. What do we have? We have an aliens item. I have no idea what this is actually meant to be. Oh, it's an apron. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why that's not fed, threaded through there. We have an apron here for the Aliens franchise. Um, for when you're cooking. It's pretty interesting. That's a different fabric from what I would have expected for an apron. It feels kind of silky. Um, which is a little bit different from the norm. Uh, for an apron. I, I don't know whether that would easier catch fire. I, I can imagine that would be a nightmare to clean. Um, and then finally, we have here a t-shirt, as we have, it's Slayers, uh, Slayers Club t-shirt, that's pretty funky, it's really nice, I love the t-shirts that come in these boxes because they're normally very vibrant colours, good quality, um, last a while, they kind of be the best, the best ones in my rotation of what I normally decide to wear uh, from these uh, Nerd Block uh, company com uh, boxes, so it's a really nice t-shirt as well. We have a booklet in here as well. There's also $10 credit for a shirt punch, which I, I never use. Um, I, I highly doubt I can put these credits together with other credits because they're only, yeah, they're only valid for a month, so you can't combine these with uh, your other boxes. Uh, 
I, I could possibly combine this with the other boxes I have, maybe. Um, but whether or not I could combine multiple vouchers together to make up enough money to uh, buy a few t-shirts is beyond me. But yeah, we, we have this uh, booklet which tells us a little bit about what's inside. It looks like we could have got a different Ghostbusters figurine in there as well. Um, yeah, so it's a supernatural belt there and a Buffy the Vampire Slayer t-shirt, which is pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, that's something from my childhood. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, that's it for this box. Uh, please do comment down below and tell me what your favourite item was. Um, please do like the video as well if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more unboxings. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.